Okay, so I know you hate word sums, but we have to do it. We have to be able to put things into uh, words and words into math expressions. So let's see how we can use an arithmetic series and the theory we've learned so far to actually answer this question. Kara works as a newspaper delivery agent and initially earns 15,000 Rand in her first year. Thereafter, her salary increases by... Uh, 1500 per year her expenses are 13,000 during the first year and then they increase by 9,900 each year a uh, subsequent year use a formula to determine how long will it take her to save up 21,000 Rand assuming that the money saved each year is not deposited into an account so she's not earning interest she's putting it under a mattress or something like that okay so let's take her income as a series so um, or as a uh, sequence actually let's call her income i n her expenses EN and then her savings um, her total savings is SN okay incidentally it works out so the first year she's earning 15,000 Rand and her expenses is 13,000 Rand so how much has she saved okay well here if I deduct these two from each other I get 15,000 minus 13,000 is 2,000 so one year 2000 so that's the sum of the first one the next year it increases by 1500 so she earns 16500 minus this increases with 900 so how much is the savings now well it's the 2000 that she used to have plus okay this minus that gives me an additional what is it for 16 2600 2600 okay and remember we need three terms we only have two terms for the sequence now so this is the first year that's the second year let's go into a third year she'll be earning another 1500 so now she'll be earning 18000 Minus this will increase again with what 900 so it's 14,800 okay and now how much is in a savings account well it, there should be the 2,000 that she had in the first year plus the 2,6 in the second year plus how much is she saving now 3,200 3,200 okay so let's just see what type of sequence are we working with right here Okay, take these two and subtract them. Two six hundred minus two thousand gives me six hundred. Take those two and subtract them, and I also get six hundred. So I see um that these are the terms: term one, term two, and term three of a oh, an arithmetic uh, series because they're being added together. Okay, so that means I can use this formula: S n is equal to n over two. Um, 2a plus n minus 1d and let's go write out everything that we have now remember this gives me my first term is a and my sec my constant difference is d so what do I have I have do I have n no I don't have n because that's actually the question is how long will it take so that's n we don't know how many years will go by then a do I know what the first term is I indeed do 2000 uh, do I know n again I don't know d do I know d okay yes I know d is 600 what am I missing oh I'm missing the sum of the first n terms do I know the sum of the first n terms well that's how much I want how much she has in her bank account and we want to know how long will it take for her to get 21,000 and not in a bank account under her pillow or wherever she's doing putting this money okay so that's 21,000 how long will it take to get 21,000 well we're going to have to substitute 21,000 
is equal to n over 2 2 times 2000 plus n minus 1 times d which is 600 okay and let's just go simplify that quickly so uh, multiply this in again we'll see we're going to have an n squared so everything should come to the one side so subtract 21,000 on both sides so that I have 0 on this side that 2 and that 2 will cancel to give me 2000 n and when I multiply on that side 600 divided by 2 will give me 300 n n minus 1 minus 21,000 okay now I can simply uh, simplify so we have 300 n squared then we have 2000 n minus 300 n that will give me plus a thousand seven hundred n and then finally I have the minus twenty one thousand okay so there's way too many zeros I can divide everything with a hundred Okay, so every term, just 0 divided by 100 is 0. 300 divided by 100 is 3n squared, plus 1700 divided by 100 is 17, minus 21,000 gives me 210. So, I'm not going to try this in brackets. It's, it's possible, I'm just going to use my formula. I think it's just more fail safe and quicker. 17 squared plus no actually minus 4 times 3 times negative 210 everything divided by 2a which is 2 times 3 is 6 cool so get our calculator out and let's type that in we have 17 a negative plus and then the 17 squared minus 4 times 3 times 2 10 negative I want the square root of that is 53 and the numerator gives me 36 so that's when I added n is equal to 36 over 6 which is just equal to 6 after 6 years she may have it or let's just see there should be two answers let's try the other answer the other answer is 17 negative minus 53 is equal to negative 70 over 6 Okay, so the other one is equal to negative 70 over 6. Okay, whatever that answer rounds off to, it's a negative value. Okay, again, nonsense. Okay, it makes no sense to go and talk about negative time. Okay, did she have this much money uh, however many years ago? No, no, that's not at all what it means. It doesn't make sense. So we ignore this or just say not applicable because the applicable answer is six. After six years, she will have enough money to do whatever she wants to with 21,000.